Hello, myself Harshit Doran. My educational background is electronics and communication in engineering, M Tech in computer networks. Teaching is my passion. I started my online education teaching from 2012. Presently, I have around 11 year experience in training students of physics and max concepts from grade 4 to grade 12. Today, I'm going to give a demo on motion. I will going to give a demo on motion concept of physics. Motion is of two types. One is rectilinear motion. Another is circular motion. Rectilinear motion going to be straight line motion is going to call it as rectilinear motion. In this concept, we are going to know about distance versus displacement speed versus velocity then we're going to discuss acceleration now we will understand what is the meaning of distance what is the meaning of displacement first that's the basic thing in the rectilinear motion distance is nothing but path traveled by the object Displacement is nothing but shortest path between initial and final position. If we consider two positions A and B, we have assumed three paths. One path from A to B, this is path one, this is path two, this one is path three. Path one is the shortest path. That is displacement. Shortest path between initial and final position is going to call it as displacement. Path 2, path 3, path 1. Anyone can be a distance. One more important difference between distance and displacement is distance, once it traveled, never be zero. For a person is starting from A, reaches B, and then he returns from B to A, then displacement is zero, but distance is, if this distance is x, then total distance travel become 2x. It is the important thing we need to know. Distance is a scalar quantity, just a magnitude. Displacement is a vector quantity. Vector quantity is nothing but as magnitude as well as direction. That's about distance and displacement. Now, we need to know what is the meaning of speed and velocity. Speed is nothing but distance traveled by time taken. Velocity is nothing but rate of change of displacement means displacement by time. Both have same unit meter per second. This is the same SI SM unit for both. But speed is a scalar quantity. Velocity is a vector quantity. This is about speed and velocity. Now, we should know very importantly the meaning of acceleration. Acceleration is nothing but rate of change of velocity. Velocity by time is going to call acceleration. Unit for this is meter per second square. 
acceleration is a vector quantity it also has both magnitude and direction this is about acceleration now we need to know about uniform velocity average velocity and instantaneous velocity uniform velocity is nothing but the velocity of a given object starting to end is same that we going to call it as uniform velocity which point of consideration we going to consider that point to another point we going to be have same velocity if it is maintained then we going to call uniform velocity average velocity is nothing but initial velocity plus final velocity divided by 2 that we going to call it as average velocity instantaneous velocity means velocity at that particular time is going to call it as instantaneous velocity that we going to call it as instantaneous velocity but when we see uniform speed is also same thing instantaneous speed is also same thing but average speed has different formula total distance traveled by total time taken total time taken this is the average speed formula so this is the fundamentals for the motion in a rectilinear way if it is circular we need to go for angular frequency angular velocity all those things only in rectilinear motion means one dimension only x axis going to be considered this is the basic for rectilinear motion this is about the demo thank you for the demo